Hey, it's Oliver with Everpeak Partners, and today I'm going to walk through how to run reports in Salesforce. So we're going to hover over the Reports tab and come into here in Salesforce, and then from here we're going to do a new report. And we can pick the object that we want to run it off of or even a collection of different objects that are linked together. So you could run one on leads, you could one run on accounts, you could run one on opportunities um, and lots of other options. So I'm going to run one on opportunities and I'm going to show you guys a few different options in terms of how these reports can be run. So we'll click continue. And then on here, um, I always like to start with the filters. So you've got the first one that says show me, and we've got either all opportunities, my teams, if you've got that set up, or my opportunities. So these are based off of um, if it's my opportunity, uh, if you are the record owner. So you need to make sure that the ownership is set up right. This is just going to show every opportunity within the whole company. You can also filter by different roles as well uh, within the company. So I'm just going to show all opportunities. And then we have our, clo uh, our date filter. You can actually pick which date field you want to use for the sort of time filter within here and you could even add additional constraints that we'll get to in just a minute. So you've got your close date for example, maybe we'll just change it to last activity and we want to see everything with the last activity that is um, in the last 120 days. So all of these are rolling dynamically updating date ranges so it's always going to be the last seven days. So if it's a year from now, it's the last seven days a year from now. Um, or if you want to put a static date in there, you click custom and then you can put the dates. So I could say maybe a start date is July 1st and an end date is the 31st. And then that is always going to stay consistent. It won't change. But for what we're doing, we'll just do um, one of these uh, rolling dates and I want to show a little bit more data for this example so I'm just going to do all time and now here's all of our opportunities then we can pick a status so open means it's active closed means it's just um, kind of inactive one or lost or uh, closed one so we'll show everything that is uh, closed one and then you can pick a probability as well if it's greater than a certain probability which that is this probability field here and then um, of course these are some that just come built in common filters that you might use but you might want to add your own filter so let's say we want to only see our opportunities that came from external referrals. So there's our lead source and we've got some that are mixed in here that we don't want to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. We're going to pick lead source and we're going to pick the option external referral and um, ideally that would be listed in here but we can type it in I'm just going to use the contains operator and by the way you can see there's all kinds of operators equals not equals greater less than etc so we're going to say if it contains the words external referral and we'll apply that and now we'll get this shortened list here so we can add as many filters as we want. Let's say we also wanted to add a filter and we wanted to say it was um, the amount is greater than 50,000. So we'll get our amount field 
is greater than 50,000. And you can apply that. So now we've got that and you can even, if you want to get fancy with it, you can mix and match your logic. So you can click this little down arrow, add filter logic, and we could say if it's one and two, or we could switch it to one or two. And you can even have additional filters in there. So maybe you want to see all of your opportunities that are in California and they're greater than 50,000 and they're an external referral lead source and they're owned by these four people and their industry is oil and gas. You could do that and you can mix and match and and or logic and get pretty fancy with how you do it. So we've got these two filters that we've got on there and we've got our and logic filter. Now we'll come over here to the outline and then this is very simple and straightforward. You just get to pick and choose your column headers. So maybe we don't want to see our owner role, so we just click an X and get rid of it. And you can also drag and drop here to reorder the fields in the way that you want, and it'll reorder it up here. We can also um, group our fields here, which allows us to segment the data, and it's also what allows us to run um, analytics um, and dashboard, create dashboard components based off of it. So here, for example, I'm gonna group it by our accounts. So I'll put the account name and I'm gonna group it that way. And now you can see that it's been grouped. So there's our three by um, three opportunities, one for United Oil and Gas, there's our three for Grand Hotel and Resort. And we can also sum our amount field. So we'll click the little down arrow there, click summarize and click sum. And now you'll see we get those totals. So we've got 650,000 from Grand Hotels and 795 from United Oil. And now if we want to get a chart showing us this, what we can do is we just click add chart and it will give you a preview right there. So there's your data, you can hover over, you can see there's a total of 1.4 million and that Grand Hotels accounts for 44.98%. Uh, we can go into the chart properties and we can do a column chart if we prefer that, or we could even do a donut chart if we wanna get kind of a comparison of the two in that way. Once you got your report lined up in the way that you want it to um, look and feel. You can hit run. And now we've got our raw data here. And after you've hit run, what you can do is click this little arrow, export it, and then you can export it as an Excel um, file or a .csv file and just heck export it. So that's a quick run through of um, running reports and a couple of the features there and I hope this was helpful.